One of my favorite things to do is take a road trip. And I love casinos, if you haven't noticed. I'm Danny, Vegas introvert. And this is Mission Road Trip, episode one. All right, so this series came about because I like to do road trips and I like casinos and I love reality TV and the challenges they do when they're competitive, like Survivor or The Challenge. So we're gonna take a road trip to a casino somewhere in the US and uh, every time we do an episode, hopefully it'll be somewhere different. The goal is to add some challenges along the way so it's not just a traditional vlog and makes it a little bit more interesting. So let's go ahead and look at what the challenges are for our first episode to Southwest Louisiana. First, because Lizzo's from Houston, sing some Lizzo in Houston. Have a boudin ball in Louisiana, place in a slut tourney, try a new slushy drink. We wanna make a winning bet for U of H. We also wanna get a train bonus on all aboard and get a bonus on a new slot machine we haven't tried. Chug some bad wine with John and for the members, visit every Bucky's and get a link bonus on Prosperity Link. I would buy that one tomorrow. Where is Taco Land? With that voice? Why do you hate her? Because she's always been skeptical of me and her boyfriend, but we've never, ever done anything. This is the answer, right? Yep. Yeah, this goes straight. And I got a boudin kolache. Oh, and they make chips. Mm. Oh, like what's a kolache? So let's go ahead and start knocking out those challenges. Member challenge from Casey was to stop at every Bucky's along the way. So this is a good time to look at the map to the Golden Nugget Lake Charles. The trip is four and a half hours roughly, depending on traffic, and it has three Bucky's along the way. The first Bucky's from Austin on the way to Houston toward Louisiana is in Bastrop, Texas. If you've never been to Bastrop, during the summer especially, it's known for its park recreation stuff, water, camping, stuff like that. And so we'll hit two other Bucky's along the way, one in Katy, Texas, and one in Baytown, Texas. And I uh, don't know what order is going to be. That's part of the challenge. If you've never been at Bucky's, it's a big convenience store and gas station. And uh, they have all sorts of stuff. And I'll show you all some of that. Probably insert some videos. I talk over this. And uh, maybe add it to the vlog as we go along when we stop at the other locations. All right. Let's get this going. It's about 10, 15 p.m. on Thursday. Okay, bye. flashing a car. 
starting to get back to civilization and we are about to enter Katy, Texas, the fictional slash real home of Reba from the TV show with Reba McIntyre. God, I'm over bumps. It is 8.51 p.m. Katy, Texas. All right, we're passing by the Bucky's and Katy, which is currently the largest Bucky's in the state or nation, but it's on the wrong side of the road, so we'll catch it on the way back. Okay, bye. Houston, Texas. My former home for 20 years. And uh, don't miss it, but it is 9.29 p.m. We're just a little behind schedule. We did stop for a pee break that was much needed and a cigarette that was much needed, so we're in a better mood. Right, Tony? See? All right. Here we go. Hey, okay, bye. You know, I do miss the central part of Houston, the inner loop. Lots of culture, lots of fun, lots of friends. Lots of car crashes. What are you doing? Go around him. I can't. There's somebody in my path. Do the hands, baby. Baytown, Texas. It's 5 till 10 p.m. We're going to probably stop at Bucky's. The third one on the route, the second one we stop on in Baytown. So, fun fact in the pre Tony years, I dated a Ginge in Baytown that was a funeral director. I can't think of a more depressing life ever. That didn't last very long, go figure. Hey, bye. All right, two out of three Bucky's. We're in Baytown, Texas, and the ice. For a large is $1.99, a small is a dollar. The more you know. So there's a lot of things that Bucky's does well. They pay well. Their guest service is really good. The soda's cheap. Extra large, the one that me and Tony just got, 99 cents. Large, 89. Small, 79. Ice is cheap, lots of good cheap snacks. One thing they don't do well is coffee. Don't get coffee here. It's pretty gross. Ask Tony. We will. Tony, I was just telling people that Bucky's does a lot of things well, but they don't do one thing well. What is it? Coffee. I told you. Bye Bucky's, it's raining a little bit. I was doing good. Tony's doing very good driving, even with my side seat driving to help him. Proof. Proof. Bucky's Baytown. Bye. All right, so we had some type of accident going on, but the highway was closed so far for what, five exits? Mm -hmm. Yep, there it is. Also, the sky is not from the accident. It's from all of our petrochemical plants out in Baytown, slowly killing us softly. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. Oh. That, oh, no. That's not oh, good. Oh, no. Yeah. <sighs> People. Please. Oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Wow. That's a tanker truck upside down. Oh, my God. Those trees were planted by the oil and gas companies that made their ugly ass plants behind them. Fun fact, see? Wow. America, God bless Texas. Here we go. 
That's it. Yep, 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 yep. yep. Beaumont, Texas, 11.15 p.m. About one hour to go. sitting longer than I want. Tony's still doing a good job. We just saw a billboard for Joan Jett and the what? Blackhearts. The Blackhearts. And fun fact, Tony went to school with Sherry Curry and uh, Joan Jett. Sherry Curry? Sherry Curry. All right, and Joan Jett. Birmingham High School in Van Nuys, California. Check that shit out. He's famous. Are you famous? It is 11 minutes until midnight and we are leaving Texas and about to enter Louisiana. This is the bridge on 10. That she'll take, and right in the middle of the bridge, you enter Louisiana. There, we're in Louisiana, almost to our destination. That way? Yep. Twelve thirty-three a.m. Technically, it's Friday, but we made it. Four stops on this road trip. Bio breaks, cigarettes. Tony and I still talk to each other, but it got a little sketchy there for a little bit. All right, we're going in. Bye. Reverse room tour, Golden Nugget Lake Charles. Here's the pool. It's pretty fancy. I like slides over there. Lots of lily pads and cabanas and day beds. We're gonna get every Landry's concept here, so that's Landry's seafood house. But they have balconies, you can't smoke on them. This is the spot tower that we're in, which makes an L. And then across is the rush tower, if you're familiar with the Golden Nugget in Vegas. Same concept, those are the newer rooms. So, backwards room tour. We're on the balcony, we go in. It's a standard double queen room, a little sitting area with an ottoman. You also have a bench over here. Some Louisiana, specifically New Orleans themed art. One Eye Jacks is an event space. I've been to a dance, <laughs> bear dance there during Southern Decadence. Here I am. You get coffee, complimentary water, dresser, there's our stuff. Uh, banquette for two to sit diabetes a little TV and then you also have your alarm clock and there's USB ports in the alarm clock some charging thingies phone three pillows per bed which is cool nice lighting and then Tony's making all the noise as I make my videos, so you can get a free noisy Tony in your room. We got your closet with your standard stuff there too. Another mirror, a shower, and let's open it up. So it looks like, yeah, the toilet. 
double vanity. Uh, let's see what the bath products are. Again, I'm not a room tour person, but y'all probably or may not have seen this, don't know about it. Golden Nugget Lake Charles, I don't know what it's like in Vegas, but those are the products, Essential Elements Bath. And there's also a soaking tub as well, like the Mississippi Queen River Boat. That's in New Orleans. Cool. I'm a little grumpy, it was a long car ride. It took a little longer than had I driven. But we're here. We might go gamble, I don't know. Okay, bye. Good morning. We are the victims of staying up too late to gamble, not winning, and not sleeping enough. So we're heading out, if you can hear me, uh, because this music's so loud. But I just wanted to show you all of the concepts they have here are all Landry's, Cadillac, Mexican Kitchen Tequila Bar, Claim Jumper, Claim Jumper Express, Vic and Anthony's, y'all did see a Starbucks. There is a chocolate box dessert place, Lily's Noodle House, which is super subpar. And this is the Grotto Italian. And next to it is Landry Seafood House. On the other side, you have Saltgrass Steakhouse. There's Tony wandering around aimlessly. All right, so we're heading out because we're not gonna wait in that Starbucks line. We're going to drive to the one in town. All right, let's go. So we are checked out and going to get coffee outside of the Golden Nugget because that line was too long. Tried to give you a tour of the corridors with all the restaurants. They're all Landry's. If you live in and around Houston or the Golden Nugget, which is owned by Tom and Ferdita, you're going to get only Landry's concepts. They're all just okay. I know people love some of them, but Houston's a really good food city. Austin's okay and none of these really stand up to anything fantastic anyway i might be bitter because we lost last night not a lot want us back a little bit at the end but we're starting it's a new day oh so the other thing i wanted to tell you was room quality is pretty good it's a four out of five it could stand up in vegas on the strip the bed was not comfortable for me. I would say it was about a two. That line was so the bed I didn't think was comfy. Tony, did you enjoy the bed? You were out pretty hard. Yeah, it was lovely. Yeah. The shower is a power wash shower. I love power wash showers. I felt blasted. I felt like any amoeba that were on my skin were gone. Tony didn't enjoy it so much. Okay. Uh, but there you go. Is that right? I think for Lake Charles, it's probably the nicest hotel. I actually prefer Le Bears. But this one has more dining options. This one gets better concerts. They are on the lakefront, which I'll try to show you when we go to Le Berge. Uh Yeah. Interesting place. Oh, and there's a golf course if you're a golfer. Okay. We're going to get coffee because I'm fussy and Tony's fussy. Let's go out that way. Okay, bye. I am curious what y'all think of this. So this was originally designed for the members as an exclusive it'll probably be an early release for every or sorry for members and then an, an, oh god one thing that's different about a road trip is i'm not trying to eat at all the fancy or special or new restaurants and so are denny's because it's cheap we just gotta eat nothing special about going to a restaurant in the lake charles casino we probably will because i have food credit but smart mmm let pancakes Bye. Cafe Denoise, as Tony calls it. Our server was a young man that was absolutely fantastic to teach people in Vegas a lesson. However, the people at the table next to us, first of all, being fat is not a disability. Uh, being entitled is definitely a problem. And uh, the woman next to us definitely had that issue. 
and uh, I had enough of her demanding of all the servers, not just hers, including getting ours away from our table because, young man, I need jelly. And so finally I just sniped out loud and said, please, I need jelly, please. So be nice to your servers. They're fucking people too. Jesus Christ. Okay, happy vlog continues now. <laughs> Let's get that out. Oh, rude. When you park too close, you get a message. Ass. There's John holding our spot for us. Thanks, John. This game is slightly racist. And it takes a long time to set up. So he's gonna kinda of, kinda of, goes like this. We won $15 last time. We gotta do better. Spice it up. Or whatever. Stop. Okay, hit a multiplier. Major. Go. Oh, God damn it. We won six dollars. That was stupid. All right, we're at Delta Downs. The gambling has not been great. That's why you haven't seen anything. So I did place my first sports bet ever on the Houston Cougars to beat Miami. A whole five bucks. It's a challenge. Let's see if we win. All right, we're going downstairs again. Okay, bye. All right, the challenge was to make a winning bet for Houston basketball. Here's the bet, a whole five dollars. Let's just say my win was that we didn't bet more than $5. Like, Marcus Sasser was injured, we get it. Miami still sucks as a town and as a college, so we win. Because you still suck Miami. Suck it, Florida. Okay, bye. Alright, Team Sarah. We sucked. Did the slot tournament. Uh, John and I, first of all, had to run across the casino because he got a hand pay and they hadn't paid him yet. And they still hadn't paid him when the slot tournament was starting, so we went, came back, they still hadn't returned. But in any way, the actual results. Number 16 out of 16. So I'm the best loser, but I didn't win. John came in 12. Oh well. Didn't achieve that goal. We still have more. We can do this. It's sunny. It's a beautiful day. It's going to rain tomorrow, but it's Saturday. It's been a rough gamble, but we're going to make the best of it. Having a good time with Tony. I'm in a much better mood than I was in yesterday. We had a good breakfast. I slept better. Not wonderful. I do miss my bed, but we came all this way. We're going to make this a great day. All right. See what happens. Challenges. We'll do an update later. That's me. But this is what makes it exciting, right? Okay, bye. This is not what? It sure is. Alright, we stopped in real quick at the Horseshoe Lake Charles. Had $15 in free play. Played a bad game. My fault. Um, but ran through it very quickly. But I just wanted Tony to see it. I think if they can do this to the Bally's former property in Vegas. It'll be good, but I doubt it. I love bridges, you don't know.
I don't trust him. Shadow to do free play. It actually went pretty well. We didn't leave winners, but we lasted quite a while, which is good because it's quite a drive out there to Kinder, Louisiana. Uh, now we're at Lo Bear's because we want some Asian food. And I say Asian because the restaurant's called Asia, it's Pan Asian. And uh, probably complete one of the challenges. Hey, okay, bye. That's the sports book now. Look at that. That's a cool space. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to show y'all the back of the hotel. Low Bears and Golden Nugget, I'll tell you all again in a bit, share a boardwalk in the back on the lakefront. But you can see how the building is actually a waterborne barge. And uh, they also have boat slips. So they found a way to make the silly rule in Louisiana work. But indeed, the casinos here still have to be at least partially on water and have a captain on staff. So Lobera shares a boardwalk on the lakefront with the Golden Nugget. And it's behind the resorts and they have a man-made beach. They used to have this as an event space. They had a food truck at one time. They had kind of a tiki bar thing going on and now it looks like there's nothing. So there you go. Challenge. Try a new slushy. We got a mudslide. I've had a mudslide before, but not a frozen mudslide. There's chocolate chips on it. Yeah, that's heaven. So at Daiquiri's and Dogs, it was twelve dollars plus we left a tip, so fifteen dollars. Totally worth it for sixteen ounces. Fun time. Alright, we 
had a better night. It's foggy. Not winners, but we lasted a long time. Puff and more puff was good to us. And we didn't get grumpy with each other. And now we're stalking John and Chase. Get ready for it. This dog loves me. It looks like a... Who is that puppy? Who is that puppy? Who is it? Hi. 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 I love you. I love you too. I love you too. I do. I love you too. I know. I know, right? Second one swimming to the Yeah. Yeah. I know. Was that you barking earlier? Yeah. Of course it was. All right. What are you doing? Chase. Oh. oh, I know. Do you like to gamble? Huh? Do you like to gamble? All right. All right, member challenge by accident. We're playing Prosperity Link, and we got the bonus Coco. Check. Let's get to the top. Go for it. We're playing nickels, by the way. Dollar ninety bet. Uh -oh. <laughs> We need seven more. Come on, get it. Oh, don't do that. Yeah, mini. The mini's 20 bucks. Keep it up. Six more. Come on. Here it is. Yay! Five more. Get two here. Oh, come on. Oh, she did it. Being teasy, huh? Four more. All right, two more. Good morning. Come on, two more. Do it. Uh, she does not let us get to that third level, but... Almost 50 bucks. But challenge achieved. It wasn't a huge win, but yay. 48 bucks. Okay, yeah. My bad, I told Tony to bet $2.50 at $0.10, cents, so he hit $2.50, which was $25, and uh, he got second spin. Ah, go for it. I guess I just got a hand pay. Yeah. Come on, get another one. Mini minor, major. Oh, you motherfucker. That ain't Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> And we made back the money we lost. Come on, one more. Make it worth it. Holy shit. Come on. Uh, trumpets. No trumpets. Whatever. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's the way to end the trip. That is the way. Nice. Um, Did it not do the hand pay music? There it is. Right? Call attendant. Did it say call attendant? Oh yeah, it sure does. There it is. All right, no, you're good. <gasps> Are you happy? Is that good? Oh, you're good. It's, they're, they're called happy. Yeah. <laughs> All right. 
It's a beautiful day in Vinton, Louisiana. It's about 11 a.m. on Sunday and we're heading home. We're heading home from full transparency being down about 1800 bucks but Tony had 200 more to play this morning and y'all saw what happened so we're leaving up because after that we also played Huff and Puff got a quick bonus and yeah we hit $300 350 I think on Huff and Puff and it's like it's time to go we're up so we're leaving up about $400 free trip it was fun we had a good time did you have a good time Tony I sure did are you only gonna bet $25 now I sure am <laughs> all right we did not finish some of the challenges I could not isolate John to do the chug a cheap wine challenge that will come in the future but uh yeah we had fun so back on the road and we still have a Bucky's to hit so hopefully we can do that in Katie Okay, bye, bitches. Challenge. Two. Oh, that second in there. Bitch, I might be better. Okay. All right. It's about damn time. Our menu is a little big. Tony and I are having a celebration lunch. Halfway home, we're in Houston. And we're at Kenny and Ziggy's. It's a classic Jewish deli and it's wonderful. It's Tony's favorite place. He's having a chicken salad sandwich on toasted rye and I'm having the tongues of fun which is beef tongue, a Russian dressing, slaw. It's delicious. I like my meal to lick me back and they give you free pickles. We'll probably have cheesecake too. Cool place. Love it. A little pricey. 25 bucks a sandwich but worth it. Okay bye. Lunch is good. Drop the handy. Taking cheesecake to go. Vlog note. If I know exactly what I'm going to say and I have the perfect shot, Tony will light a cigarette, burp, or do something else offensive to totally ruin it. The person driving that truck is a stupid. A stupidos. But we're here. This Bucky's has a car wash. It also has over a hundred gas pumps. It's ridiculous. We're in Katy. We're halfway home. Let's go. All right, so I think that's gonna end our challenge, at least in terms of the on the road part. We'll check in when I get home and go over the list of targets we had and see how close we got to completing them. I know we didn't get all of them, but we had a good time trying. So there we go. We're at Bucky's. Couple of notes on Bucky's is they are definitely getting rid of Coke products in their fountain machine, which sucks because I always got Coke Zero, but they are carrying Dr. Pepper Zero instead now, so I'm okay with that. Uh, they are replacing all the Coke products with Pepsi products or a Bucky's brand of super sugary things like pineapple soda, etc. So if you like that, again, the extra large cup's a good deal, 99 cents. And then they got rid of Tony's coconut bar that he would get at the register, but he doesn't need it. Wheaties. Okay, see you when I get home. Bye, bitches. All right, we're home, and it was 
a fun trip. I have to say, I hadn't been on a road trip in a long time, uh, to a casino or not. And so Tony and I, I think both overestimated our ability to maintain sanity. And so I'll say this, at the end of the trip, I asked Tony if he would do it again, and he said yes. Granted, I asked him about five minutes after we hit a hand pay. So I'll probably ask him tonight or a day later. Um, that said, as far as the concept for this video goes, I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it because I want to do it again. Was it perfect? No. Let's start off with the bad, right? We had 10 challenges. Let's look at what we didn't achieve. One, I couldn't find a boudin ball to save my life. If y'all don't know what boudin is, it's like a mixture of sausage and rice and then in a ball it's fried into like a little hush puppy sort of thing. Delicious. Couldn't find one. I was really surprised. Then again, I think I commented on this, Lake Charles isn't really a dining mecca and so we weren't going places where maybe they would have had them. We saw one place on the side of the road, really country road that said uh, they had boudin and sausage and Tony's like, do you want to stop? I'm like, ah, mm -mm, no. And so uh, I guess I could have maybe found one there, but I chose life. I also was not able to get a train bonus and all aboard. I'm gonna tell y'all the absolute truth. We played. In fact, part of why we were down so much to start the trip is that Golden Nugget, uh, I think, nope, Low Bearish had it too, but Golden Nugget had all aboard machines and Tony and I played every one. One of them wasn't working um, and we couldn't win and he was getting very frustrated and we lost about 600. And uh, that was just between about 1 a.m. and 3 a.m. One, most of the casino floor was closed, which was very frustrating. Uh, they were doing the cash drop and pull and like all the fun machines were closed. And so we had limited selection. On the way back to the room, I did say I wanted to try the, um, I think it's called jackpot catcher. And um, there was a machine that was calling me. Y'all know how it is. And I was able to win back, I think, 350 and we cashed out. So we were only down 250 that first night, uh, but it was pretty rough. Then, then, on top of it all, I checked my points the next day and I didn't have any. There was no registration of our effort and our losses. And I emailed them, but I don't think I'll hear anything back. Golden Nugget is a known for their customer service for me, for me, though, so whatever. And so we're both kind of bitter about that. Um, so no train bonus. We got a few free spin bonuses. Nothing really great. Y'all know Konami and y'all know in that game specifically. My fridge is having a moment. My fridge is having a moment. It's doing things. I'm sorry. We... You done? We did place a bet for the University of Houston. I knew, having watched the previous game with Auburn, Marcus Sasser, who's like their star, had a groin injury and he played anyway. And then he was gonna play in this game. And the team doesn't have enough depth. <laughs> He's kind of like their Kobe, uh, that they weren't able to really perform. I'll say that much. And uh, I was going to place a bigger bet, but I said, you know what? To achieve the challenge, I'm going to do $5 and hopefully win, but I'm not gambling on U of H. Listen, I'm not an emotional gambler. I'm not going to vote for you or uh, bet on you just because I like you or I went to school there. And that was a good choice. So we didn't win the bet. We tried. We did not win. Uh, they got beaten pretty badly by Miami. And then Miami went and took out UT, University of Texas. So I feel good about that. <laughs> oh, well, I do hope, is it Florida Atlantic? Just some underdog nobody had heard of or would it suspect. Um, I hope they make the final four. I think they did. I hope they win. I hope they do. Um, just kind of like, that's why I don't like college football. Um, in some regards, the like SEC takes up way too much space. Slightly off topic. Okay, anyway, so no boudin ball, no train bonus, no winning bet. I played in a slot tourney. Part of why we were going on this trip is John and I, well, I actually got invited to the slot tournament. I told him and he was like, 
how, how did I not get it? I don't know. He has a bigger gambler. I don't know why I didn't get it. Maybe they're targeting a certain range. Um, and then his host wanted to charge him for room. I don't know. It was weird. But anyway, we booked and we both got into the slot tourney. And so you'll see in the video, I hold up Team Sarah. The theme of the tourney was you were on teams by whoever your host was. My host is Sarah. And uh, John had a different host. I think he thought his was Sarah. Maybe that's why she wanted to charge. Anyway, uh, like I said in the video, John got a hand pay on Wonderful Tall Fortunes. And they were taking forever to bring the hand pay, bring the money. And uh, so we left Tony sitting there. We ran to the other side of the casino where the tournament area was. And you do the tourney. It's the same. Y'all have seen them, the machines and the the balloons that pop up. Um, John and I were sitting next to each other. I got last in that session, 16th, and he got 12th. But my host came and said hi. She kind of scared me when she did because we were about to start. And uh, I, I think I made a face because her face back was like, I don't know. <laughs> John's host, however, stood behind him the whole time cheering for him. So maybe I would have done better, Sarah, if you had helped. <laughs> Either way, we did not win but it was fun trying a little distraction we go back to get john's hand pay they still hadn't come back uh so we still had to wait about 10 more minutes whatever he got six hand pays this trip and i think he left down he was betting a lot when we would see him so it's part of the reason why we didn't achieve the last challenge we didn't hit was chug a cheap wine with john um, our schedules were just off. He was there with his husband. They went kayaking. They were doing things. When we wanted to go to Cachada, he wanted to go four hours later. I wasn't having it. I will say, though, that the next day after we went to Cachada, a tornado hit in Louisiana about 20 miles north of Cachada. Um, those of you that live in areas where there's erratic weather, that could have easily gone toward Cachada. And uh, I think it was best that we went when we did. It was a clear day. It wasn't stormy. So that's a win. We didn't die. I don't know if y'all heard that, but my clothes from the trip were in the washer. They finished. They're in the dryer now. Uh, let's talk about the things that went well with the challenges. So start off with the member challenges. This video, this concept was designed as wanting to do something special for the members. And... Two of the challenges that were suggested, and we got lots of good suggestions, uh, but I chose two. I even kind of adapted one. Um, one of them was to get a link bonus on Prosperity Link, and we did that. Um, the game was not nice to us. Over the two and a half days we were there, the first bonus we got was right there at the end on Lucky Day, Departure Day. Uh, and it was 48 bucks, and you could tell Tony was like, oh, it's one of our biggest bonuses. I'll take it. Um, so yeah, achieved. So yay. Thank you, Coco. And then Casey also recommended that we go to every Bucky's along the way. And we did. We actually went to the Bastrop Bucky's twice. So, uh, Bastrop, Katie, Baytown, and they're all similar. And then also a little bit different. If you ever have a Bucky's in your area on a road trip, I recommend you stop. Cleanest restrooms. The ones in Katie actually have a green light, red light system, kind of like the garages in Vegas, uh, that if you need to use a stall, it'll have a green or a red light if it's available or not. So I think that's cool. And they actually have bathroom attendants cleaning all the time. Just like the things that matter to us in life. Anyway, um, so that was fun because I do like to stop at Bucky's and it was a good way for us to plan for places to stop, which kind of saved our... Um, Fussiness? We'll say fussiness. Because uh, Tony and I were starting to get in on each other's nerves. I tried to warn him. He wanted to leave a day earlier and drive at night. He said there would be less traffic. Y'all saw the accident. It did let us plan for breaks. <laughs> Bio breaks, smoke breaks, snack breaks, time away from each other, not in the car breaks. <laughs> that was good. So we achieved both of the member challenges. Thank you. Moving forward, I want to do more and more of those. And then the other challenges... I don't know. I want to make road trip karaoke a thing. I'm guessing I'm going to be very angry by the time y'all see this because there's a lot of music in this vlog. I'm guessing a lot got copyright hits, strikes, nudges, something. 
And uh, yeah, but either way, I thought, okay, we're driving through Houston. Lizzo's from Houston. Let's do a road trip karaoke challenge. I had to be in Houston and it had to be Lizzo and it had to come up on the radio naturally. I didn't tell y'all any of that. That was a challenge I gave myself. And going through Houston on the way to Louisiana, I didn't hear any Lizzo. On the way back, as we were leaving Kenny and Ziggy's, no, getting there. It was somewhere around there when we were coming back. Um, heard her, jumped up, tried to sing, couldn't remember words, but it counted. Anyway, so we got that one done. Uh, we did get a bonus on a new slot machine. We actually got two. I filmed the second one because I was like, oh, this is something we hadn't played before. And it was terrible. Y'all saw it, that mariachi thing. I mean, kitschy, but just a, a little tacky. That bonus takes a long time to set up to give you $6. Eh, whatever. We also did achieve trying a new slushy. And uh, that dogs, Deckery and Dogs, is that what it's called? Deckeries and Dogs at Low Bears. I love, that's my favorite resort um, in the Lake Charles, Southwest Louisiana area in terms of the resort experience. They have the best restaurants. They have a very nice pool. I wish I could have gotten in there. We weren't guests, so I couldn't go in there, but in the future I will. And you can see the Lazy River, and then there's a bigger pool in back, and then there's a 21 plus area with no kitties, and that's wonderful, and that has its own bar. The service is always really good. Um, just a nice hotel. It's part of the same family as M Resort in Vegas or Ameristar Blackhawk. And they all have the same smell. It's really weird. When I go to M Resort, I'm like, that smell is no bears. So anyway, I enjoy it. The thing I don't like about Loberge is they've decided to go the route of the D or Circa and just blast their music one. Their ceilings are very low. And so it just resonates and I start getting a headache like right here. I'm just so sensitive to like the loud noise because old. And uh, so we didn't get to play there much. It was fine. We weren't winning there either. As y'all saw through the vlog, it was a steady and kind of quick decline until the very end. All right. So of the 10 challenges we had, and those include the two member challenges, we achieved five. I... Wish I would have tried a little bit harder for the boudin ball, but in general, I was trying. The all aboard was probably the most frustrating because y'all don't see this because we didn't get bonuses and I didn't want to conclude more footage going nowhere, right? Especially with the trajectory of how the gambling was going. We tried. I definitely tried. Um, I kept trying to like locate John so we could get a drink. And when we would sit next to each other, something would happen that either I would have to go away or he would have to go away. And then we couldn't have a drink because we'd have to order it and wait and whatever. I want it to be good, so we'll do it next time. That said, I hope you liked it. I had a good time. I know there's a lot of driving footage. I tried to break it up with commentary, making the editing interesting and cutting in some different stuff but I think that's part of what I love about my idea of what this concept looks like is that it's a road trip and everything that entails. Me and Tony getting grumpy at each other, stopping more than we expected. And I'm kind of impressed with us. Of the four and a half hours we we're supposed to take, we only went 45 minutes over and that's with four stops. Um, but it's designed to not just be casino footage and not be familiar things that you would recognize, right? Let's learn a little bit about the history. Those Louisiana gambling laws are, are kind of wacky, uh, but of the 15 major casinos in the state, they all have to exist on some type of water, except for Harris, New Orleans and the New Horseshoe. Um, and that doesn't include the racinos or like these little grocery store, convenience store casinos. We're talking about the big places, uh, but it's just a wacky line. And if you think about Louisiana gets hurricanes and tornadoes. Why would you want to purposefully make a business be on or near water? It's what actually shut down the original Harris Lake Charles. They got blown away by a hurricane. So it's fun. Either way, I hope you enjoyed the first of what will be a new series. This was designed for members. So we really want the members feedback. Drop it in the Patreon post where I gave the preview or I dropped this video. Everyone else will probably see this video about a week after the patrons. I do want it to be something special for the members. Y'all rock if you want to join my membership on Patreon. 
patreon.com slash Vegas Introvert. The levels are three, five, and twenty-five dollars. If you want to join my YouTube membership, you don't get the early release stuff, but you get the stamp that you're a member when we do live chats. And I do do live chats. I like to talk. Whatever. Those are 99 cents anyway. All right, thanks y'all, I appreciate it. Please remember to like this video, subscribe, share with all your friends, give me your comments about your favorite places to road trip. My goal is to go on road trips across the nation. I might not drive there from home in Austin, but I might fly somewhere and then drive. That's the goal, explore, I like exploring. I almost enjoy it more than Vegas, especially when you get a hand pay. So, thanks everybody. Love y'all, fun times, look forward to it, and I'll see y'all on the next Mission Road Trip. Pew. What was that? Bye. <laughs>